Hi, I'm Ashley Meschke and I'm a product specialist here at Atlas Cupco. In today's video, we're going to be looking at how to program a barcode scanner on the STR wrench. We can start by connecting the STR wrench to a personal computer using a USB-C cable and accessing its web GUI using the standard IP address 169.254.1.1. From the home page, click into the Sources tab and select Batch Sequence on the left-hand pane. In the top right corner, you will see the plus icon, which will allow you to create a source batch. In the drop-down, we can give our source batch a name and set whether scanning a new identifier string will abort the previous scan or not. Next, we toggle the identifier method to strings for barcode strings and set the possibility for scanning in free order or not. When free order is set to off, the barcodes must be scanned in a specific order for the system to recognize the string. When the free mode is set to on, the barcodes can be scanned in any order. Now, we're automatically supplied with one barcode string, but we have the ability to edit the default one or add another three for a total of four barcodes in one configuration. To add another, we can select the plus icon, but for this video, I'll stick with one identifier. Selecting the name label will bring up a dialog box to set the properties of the barcode. Here we can identify the name of the chosen barcode, which for this video I'll call product. We can also identify the length of the string, the significant positions of the string, as well as the save positions, which will be logged by the system. I know my barcode string is 10 characters long, the relevant characters in the string are characters 1 through 3, and I want the entire string to be logged by the system, so I'll set the saved positions as 1 through 10. Now we can close the dialog box and click Apply. Our final step is to link a batch sequence to the barcode string. Select the Edit tab and indicate which barcode strings are to be linked with what batch sequence. In this case, I only want the sequence to initiate on the products that have a string containing A, B, C, and X, Y, Z. In case there are multiple other strings to identify, or you delete one too many strings, you do have the possibility to add more strings back into the mix by selecting the plus icon. Once the sequences are linked, click Apply to complete the editing. And that's how you program a barcode scanner on the STR wrench. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Product Marketing. Thanks for watching and see you next time.